Welcome to Davao Region Connect in support of the Comprehensive Region-Led Learning Continuity Plan. I teach Integrating Technology. Academic community and the household. Ensuring every learner is safe and protected anytime, anywhere. Anchored on Sulong Idokalidad, this is DepEd Regional Office 11, delivering quality education across Davao Region. Region Dunong Aguila in support of the Comprehensive Region-Led Learning Continuity Plan, I teach Integrating Technology, Academic Community, and the Household, ensuring every learner is safe and protected anytime, anywhere. Anchored on Sulong Idokalidad, this is DepEd Regional Office 11, delivering quality education across Davao Region. Kaya ng pagbabago, kaya natin to Kabata ang Davao kaya natin to Dunong agla Liparin na butin mga pangarap mo Dunong agla Liparin na butin mga pangarap mo The pandemic has paved the way of incorporating something new and innovative into our educational system. Good afternoon and welcome to Davao Region Connect. We shall now start our activity with our Philippine National Anthem.
To our Regional Director, Madam Evelyn R. Fetalvero. To our Assistant Regional Director, Madam Maria Ines C. Asuncion. To our 11 Schools Division Superintendents and Assistant Schools Division Superintendents, Chiefs of the Functional Divisions, Participants, Teachers, and to all our viewers, good afternoon and welcome to the virtual orientation on radio-based instruction with the teachers Teacher Broadcasters, my name is Marjorie Navarillo of the Curriculum and Learning Management Division and I will be your host for this afternoon's activity. Now, to present to us the participants of this activity, I would like to invite on screen our regional focal person for RBI and TVBI, Dr. Manuel P. Vallejo. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Good afternoon, Dove Oriental. Andito ka ngayon sa Bakuli National High School. And thank you so much. Nakikita natin yung sa likod si um, Darlene. Pakata ng ating high school principal. Daghang kayong salamat. Tamang-tama, nag-monitor ko dire. Dire na lang po ko nakikonect para sa atong uh, virtual gathering. Okay, so I am proud and I'm happy this afternoon that we shall be joined with the following... Uh, education leaders, our deputy officials, and of course, our participants. Of course, to our RD, our regional director, Dr. Avelyn Arfital Vero Sasa 4, uh, ERD, uh, Maria Anesi Asuncio, Sasa 5, uh, Dr. Janet uh, G. Veloso, our CLM, the chief. Now, the uh, uh, assistant coast division superintendent of the division of Double Desor, and also my partner, Dr. Mary Jane Mendoza Mejorada. And of course, kauban po nato ang ato ang uh, counterparts at sa division of Davao City. We have is TS uh, Ria Giliana, ES uh, DS uh, Jinky Ferman, kaya mura po the, siyang natahasa no, sa RBI in the division of Davao City. We also have uh, CID Chief Alma Sifra, Dr. Rene Sultan, may counterparts sa English and uh, Filipino, uh, ESDS Marilyn uh, Ayan, um, Diduyo. And then um, we have the three uh, PSDSS, uh, PSDS Marilyn Marcelo, PSDS Esidora Sermino, PSDS uh, Juni Ferolino. Silang kauban nato ng pag-craft sa composition sa maong uh, RBI team. Uh, Pagahimo nato for that uh, particular uh, radio of official partners na radio station ng ano, Region 11, ang Brigada. And then, of course, uh, I am excited to uh, listen sa ato ang uh, banggiitan kaayo ng mga uh, magsisibya sa radio. Ang una nato nga speaker later on, na excited ko maminaw, si uh, 
Sir Jun Digamon ang uh, ato ang uh, station manager ng uh, Brigada FM uh, Davao. And then we also have our uh, very own kauban pala niya si uh, Sir Hill Bautista ang assistant uh, region ano assistant uh, radio station manager og uh, of course ang ato ang kauban po si Dep Ed na si Sir Arnold Barbasan banggiitan po Ayan. And then of course, uh, ang ato ang mga participants, ang mga teacher broadcasters ng Division of Davao City. And we would like to inform also everyone that other divisions are joining with us. Ayan. So, malipayon po ka ay sila nga naminaw ka nato karong hapuna. Okay. So, March, tagang salamat. That would be all. May hapon. Thank you so much, Sir Manny. And once again, welcome to all our participants this afternoon. Now, to formally open our activity and to give us the rationale of the program, may I invite on screen our Chief of the Curriculum and Learning Management Division, Dr. Janet G. Veloso. Yes, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon to all the participants and, of course, a respect to our regional director, Madam Evelyn Arpet Albero, our assistant regional director, Madam Maria Ines Asuncion, and of course to the uh, schools division superintendent of Davao City, together with the two um, equally brilliant uh, assistant schools division superintendents of Davao City, Dr. Chinky Furman and Dr. Uh, Marilyn Tiduyo. And the rest of the participants who are uh, involved in this orientation on radio-based instruction with uh, the uh, broadcasters, particularly of Davao City. Maayong hapon sa tanan. Actually, this orientation is a product as, or an offshoot already of the many series of uh, um, meetings that we have had with the uh, top officials or uh, education leaders of Davao City Division. And um, we are very much happy indeed with the partnership or the successful uh, partnership with uh, uh, Brigada News FM, of which uh, our no less than the manager, Sir Jun Digamon, will be with us to uh, give us input as to uh, how these things can be uh, materialized and uh, be in operation as we go along. Now, uh, our station ID, as you have heard during our uh, initial um, uh, large or uh, beginning of our uh, orientation, is that uh, that will be our uh, official station ID, and at the same time, also the official station ID for the TV-based instruction. And it's good for Dabo region that we have uh, set already the standards. As I know that in Davao City, uh, we have, uh, I believe, uh, a lot of talents and potentials that have already been topped by even by depth and central office, particularly in the delivery of this new modality. I know that uh, in the past uh, meetings that we have had with your education leaders, um, our intention or the main uh, reason that we are uh, gathering you is that we are preparing you for a bigger scale of responsibility that would be for a long-term um, operation of our partnership with all the, or particularly with Brigada News FM. And uh, if there will be uh, another, or shall we say, another endeavor or for the region to uh, uh, work on, uh, particularly for TV-based or radio-based instruction, I, I am sure that Davao City is, uh, would still be our uh, main uh, facilitators because uh, in this kind of endeavor, uh, we want that. Uh, it should be uh, contiguously near. No? Our implementers should be contigu contiguously near the station or even within the area where the station is. And so 
the Telo, uh, Talomo district, I believe. Uh, we are already setting this up that uh, all of you will be uh, uh, for part of this activity. Now, I'm sure that not all of us are, um, shall we say, have the same take off as to our, what do we do? What are the things that we are going to start on? What are the uh, basic things that we should know, particularly on the side of the service provider? And so this is it. We need to know all of this through this orientation. And I salute the leadership of Dr. Manuel P. Vallejo and together with uh, Dr. Mary Jane Meorada. Because this two uh, education program supervisors that are actually managing or facilitating the uh, instruction, particularly for RBI or PVBI, this, are, uh, this orientation is really their first um, ever orientation that is uh, formally uh, set for Davao City Division. Now, if there were uh, in, uh, engagement that we have had in the past, this were for the uh, entire region. But solely this time, we are focusing for Davao City Division, of which uh, the top management had already the uh, knowledge as to how these things be done. So now we thank everyone for your uh, generosity of your commitment and time and the way that you have uh, responded to this, uh, shall we say, planned activity. This is already a, a manifestation that our Dunong Aguila will go a long, long way for Davo region learners. So with that, God bless everyone and Mabuhay. Thank you so much. That was our Chief of the Curriculum and Learning Management Division, Dr. Janet G. Veloso. Thank you so much from Janet. Now to give us a message of support, we have the Assistant Schools Division Superintendent of the Division of Davao City, Mom Jinky Furman. Hello, good afternoon, everybody. To our Regional Director, Dr. Evelyn Fetalbero, our Assistant Regional Director, Dr. Maria Ines Asuncion, Chief Janet Veloso, our Region Radio-Based Instruction Focal Person, Dr. Manny Vallejo, Davao City Radio-Based Instruction and TBBI Head, Mr. Arnold Barbasan, uh, Ka Brigada, Mr. Jun Digamon, our teacher participants, uh, specifically our teachers from Talomo District, uh, to this read and participants to this regional orientation on radio-based instruction. Good afternoon. Um, indeed, this pandemic has changed the way we deliver education. So, because we have to provide um, uh, learning environments and different learning experiences to our learners, we need to innovate and we need to think of ways to connect with them. And since face-to-face -face is far very far yet no from reality the closest that we can get is to our learners is through the online and modular uh, modalities which uh, we also need the radio based instruction as a supplemental modality to help our learners especially when they are browsing through our modules i am just glad that for the school division of davao city we have already established our radio-based instruction with our nine radio station partners. And we are lucky that we have Mr. Arnold Barbata Barbasan, who really works hard along with our team uh, to make sure that we have a sustainable running of our radio-based instruction program that keeps airing every week. And I saw how difficult it is to translate the self-learning modules into a radio-based instruction material. And I really salute the people behind uh, every learning episode uh, that we air on our radio stations. And you know, the task from writing the scripts, you know, from, from the SLMs, you write the scripts and then you 
uh, edit, do the checking, and then uh, of course we we ask our education program supervisor to check on the contents first, and then when it's ready, good for recording. So that's the next step, and then editing again and so on and so forth so that's how our team now has been working so hard uh, through the leadership of our uh, uh rbi head and uh, tbbi head mr arnold barbasan so at first we were quite adamant not to when this was first offered uh, to Dep and Davao City because we, as I have said, we have already our own established uh, radio-based instruction, uh, and we saw how difficult, how tedious it is to convert the self-learning modules into an RBI material. But since it's very clear that um, the the content uh, and the 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 showing no, of or the airing would be managed by the region itself, then our school's division superintendent would like to express also uh, our support no, to this program of the region and make sure that um, our teachers, our, we provide the human resources that our teachers are ready you know, from Talomo district to be of service also for the success of this program, right? So good luck. To all our participants, may you have a meaningful engagement and uh, may you be able to also uh, represent Davao City in this uh, notable. All right, thank you so much to our Assistant Schools Division Superintendent, Ma'am Jinky Furman. I think our ASTS is experiencing thank you very some much. technical problems, all right? Okay na po. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Jinky Furman. Maraming salamat po, ASDS. Ayan, no? Si ASDS, napaka-flexible kasi kanina lamang, earlier this morning, kasama po namin si ASDS, Jinky Furman, para sa uh, live series ng Kindergarten. At yun naman po ay kasama natin siya para sa RBI orientation. So with that, thank you so much for your support, uh, ASDS, Jinky Furman, as well as the Schools Division Superintendent of uh, Division of Davao City, Sir Ray Galliana. Maraming salamat po. And of course, this activity or this orientation would not be possible without the support of our regional directors. So to give, uh, to give us an inspirational message... We have on screen our regional director, Madam Evelyn Arfet Alvero. Hi, good morning, good afternoon, Marge. Thank you very good much. Good afternoon, Ardi. Yeah, good afternoon to all who are watching, and especially those who are participating in this uh, division city wide uh, orientation on RBI in collaboration with the region, no? with the region. So uh, first and foremost, I would like to uh, greet our strong partner in this uh, RBI uh, modality, who is the station manager of Brigada FM Radio Davao, Mr. June Digamon. We met each other. We met each other during the MOA signing with our. Um, uh, regional director, no? So, uh, I would also like to greet our uh, school superintendent, the assistant superintendents, our uh, um, regional focal persons under Dr. Janet Veloso. Our regional focal persons are uh, Mr. Baliejo and Dr. Mihorada for RBI. And uh, we also have here our uh, chief of uh, CID, Alma Sefra, with the apps. Um, on RBI, we have Rene Sultan. But I would also like to greet our uh, district supervisors who are involved in this training. Uh, I'd like to mention PSDS, uh, PSDS Marilyn Marcelo, PSDS Isidora Sarmino. Hi, Dora. I miss you, Dai. PSDS Juni Perolino. And uh, um, talaga, uh, I am congratulating here 
uh, SDS, of course, Rinaldo Guillena, and the uh, ASBSS, Dr. Jinky Furman, and Dr. Marlene Duduyu. Friends, I think this is uh, the proper time where I can uh, shout out for our pride. For Davao City, who registered uh, the most number of um, um, our personnel, we have one teacher. Uh, I don't know if others are also teachers no, themselves. Who qualified for the national search for uh, TBI and RBI um, during the, the training that our central office uh, ha has put in place? And they are being trained at the national level with the prominent TV, TV practitioners and the uh, um, uh, uh, specialists on, on, on television. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about uh, Miss Mylene Navarro of Bago Oshiro, who is the lone qualifier for uh, teacher broadcasters sa round one ng selection, no? Mylene, congratulations, Mylene, although I know you are, I do not know if you are involved. But one very uh, important person here in our TBI and RBI coming from Davao City is Mr. Arnold Barbasan, who is the production head, where I was told about uh, uh, his uh, qualifications, no? Uh, ICTS, uh, director, Dr. Abram Abaniel, was sharing to me that uh, when, when they visited uh, last time, their last visit, uh, I think that was on the launching of Project Lightning, that Arnold has really the, ex uh, the excellent skills along this line. And Arnold, thank you very much. I saw your posts in the mo media monitoring reports published every day. Arnold, salamat at uh, you are sharing your talents, your skills, your experiences to the Department of Education. With you, your assistant production head, Mark Nareto, then uh, the illustrator, Alimer Veloso, Michael Sol Binghai, the music and sound equipment director. We have Christine Joy Cabajo. For sign language, uh, for sign language, we have Sheila O. Inid of all from Davao City. So that is how popular our mentors and personnel from Davao City. Maraming salamat. Again, congratulations to all of you. So uh, RBI or TBI is really a great help as we shift to the different learning modalities. And uh, TV and uh, radio-based instructions are uh, considered as one of the effective media for uh, uh, education to, to continue. RBI is nothing new because for the Department of Education because it's being pioneered uh, by the alternative learning system. But uh, the new media in the form of computers, laptops, uh, tablets, and smartphones have been trending since their availability also. At, and it has been part of our system. In fact, yung mga digital, uh, asynchronous, synchronous, online, offline are also part of the different learning modalities. But we still cannot ignore that the traditional media such as radio has been our partners in life. When radio was introduced in the Philippines in 1924, it slowly changed our way of getting information and entertainment, although it is only pure sound or sound bites only. So, uh, when the first... Uh, Radio broadcast uh, the 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 radio radio uses airwaves, which do not use which do not require internet connection. Uh, 
but this is limited. But there are radios that can reach other provinces and remotest areas. Noong panahon ng maliit pa kami, ang source namin ng, ng entertainment are, are radios, no? Uh, radios can be can be uh, using electricity or there are still until now battery operated radio transistors. So it is really possible that a radio broadcast can reach many places. But there is a challenge for radio-based instruction because we know that radio relies only on sound. It doesn't have any visual presentation. It is subject to atmospheric and other interferences. So, so, so that it is highly perishable, yung radio instruction. So it cannot be repeated over and over again. So the learner needs to listen attentively. So uh, please consider these facts as I would like to, to share with you also. That our ears used in listening can only receive 160 words per minute, while the eyes can read up to 1,000 words per minute. What does this mean? Your trainer, uh, Arnold, may explain or Sir June may explain on this. Did you know that the eyes can see the whole sentence in just one glance, but the ears need to grasp word for word in every sentence? This means the listener should wait until the end of the sentence to get the message. Again, the trainer can share about this. So we need radio scripts before doing broadcasting. And uh, uh, I believe those who are in charge of RBI and TBI, in the Mylins, in the Arnold, are into this uh, chess. In this script, it is not only telling the learners about the lesson of the day, but it has to capture also the learner's attention. So that's why the elements of radio, such as human voice, music, sound effects, even silence should be part of the script. So our radio listeners, who are our learners, create images in their minds with the help of these sound elements. A radio piece makes our listeners or learners imagine. But this is highly technical. Uh, sana ma-discuss din ito ng ating mga resource speakers. So what I'm saying is, Friends, our beloved teachers who are watching and who are attending this orientation, um, open your heart, open your mind, and uh, be knowledgeable on RBI. Uh, I know that uh, this journey is really not easy, but this is one of the fun field trainings, fun field uh, trainings that our teachers are are to undergo under this new normal. So, ano lang tayo, you enjoy, enjoy the training, even virtually only, and pick up all the learnings because we, you need that to become an effective teacher no? under the rate-based instruction. Again, congratulations to Davao City Schools Division, to the districts who are in, uh, involved here, uh, Talomo District, and all the other districts, and uh, I also know that there are other participants outside of, of Davao City uh, who are uh, into uh, watching this uh, virtual training conducted by uh, the region in collaboration with Davao City uh, Schools Division. Again, Sir June Digamo, Maraming salamat po and uh, sana uh, matutuwa ang ating mga guro, participant, at sana po ay maging matagumpay ang ating pagsusumikap sa ating uh, new normal uh, uh, continuance of, of uh, our uh, school year. Mahirap talaga ang ating mga pinagagawa ngayon. Ngayon, ang ating department, lalong-lalo na ang ating uh, mahal na uh, secretary ay nasa parang nasa ano tayo sa lens ng microscope. Pinitingnan talaga kung ano ang mga pinagagawa natin. 
At may mga grupo na gustong i-discredit ang lahat ng mga gina ginawa natin. Kaya we have to be careful and we have to be more vigilant uh, than ever uh, because ngayon kahit na um, iba ang dahilan ng mga problema na, na nangyari doon sa teaching learning, ang, 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 ano nila, ang sabi nila na dahil daw yun sa modular learning na nagbigay hirap sa mga bata natin. So, my dear teachers, my dear school administrators, tulong-tulong po tayo. Uh, sana ang lahat ng ating mga kabataan na nag-aaral sa kanilang mga tahanan at uh, kasama ng kanilang magulang ay uh, bigyan nila ng ka ano ng loob, kagaanan ng loob itong nangyari ngayon na sinasabi nila na uh, napakahirap pala ang pagtuturo dahil noon all the teachings are put in the shoulders or were put in the shoulders of of the uh, teachers but now with the blended learning with the distance distance learning modalities where parents played a very important role in the learning of their kids at home nakikita nila na mahirap talaga so makaahon din tayong lahat tulong-tulong tayo hindi lang yung sa district lang ninyo tutulungan natin ang lahat na kung may mahirapan may mahihirapan uh, on our journey ay matutulungan at mapipil nila na hindi sila nag-iisa, lalong-lalo na yung mga uh, learners natin. Teachers, bigyan nyo ng uh, a wide ano, of understanding ang ating mga learners. Huwag maging uh, stricto sa, sa submission of their outputs no? kasi nahihirapan ang ating mga uh, Learners, nahihirapan ang mga parents. So, kung hindi sila makasubmit on time, bigyan nyo pa ng extension of time. We don't like hearing news that there are learners who who uh, said, ano, give up na sila because of the difficulty in learning in this uh, new normal. Uh, makaahon din tayo sa paghihirap natin ito. All these things will pass. What is important is we are resilient and we are uh, nurturing each other and we are helping we are helping one another na makatawid tayo sa pandemyang ito. Everything will pass just like uh, what uh, our poor parents, our uh, our people from uh, the past days have undergone. Pa itatawid din natin ito at babalik din tayo sa normal na yung pinagkagawian natin. So for now, training lang muna tayo. Kung magkamali tayo, okay lang po yan. Okay lang na magkamali tayo. Yung mga learners natin na uh, sasabihin na hindi talaga sila nakaperform kasi ngayon wala namang periodical exams. Mga ano man lang, mga long quiz lang, walang periodical exams, only performance tasks. Kung mahirapan sila sa kanilang performance tasks, Tutulungan ng lahat. Tutulungan din ang mga guro, kahit distance learning ang ang, ang ano ang modality, they can still help through uh, other uh, means of, of giving uh, professional help. So, ang important lang is we are open. Ang puso natin ay aalagaan natin. Ang ating mga isip ay aalagaan din natin kasi mahirap na kung iba na ang ating iisipin at yung iba nga na hindi nga na ano ng COVID pero nawawala rin dahil give up sila. Please do not do that, our beloved teachers. And I would like to remind again each and everyone to stay healthy. We must secure ourselves because I know there are some teachers who contracted the, the virus as of the moment. Uh, masakit sa puso ko with the news na may mga guro na nasakit nasakit at sana ang ang ano ko palagi ang aking dasal na yung mga may sakit sana makabalik sila sa kanilang 
uh, uh, good health. Sana ang kanilang pamilya din ay hindi magkaroon ng uh, uh, ng virus dahil merong isang membro ng kanilang pamilya ay nag uh, na, na contract na infected. So uh, especially our monitors on the field, our supervisors, both in the schools division at saka in in uh, the region. We have to be careful. Lahat tayo alagaan natin ang bawat isa ni sa dahil ang panahong ito ay hindi po ito karaniwang panahon. So balit we have to know that there is someone up there who is taking charge of everything that is happening and that with prayer maitatawid natin ang ang panahong ito. So even with the uh, difficulties, the challenges, with the deficiencies May mga mali, maling module, okay din lang tayo, okay lang tayo. We will be putting up a, a platform um, uh, called uh, Hashtag Error Watch. Kasi with, uh, gusto natin, ma, ma, if there are errors sa ating mga modules, ay ma-correct ma natin agad-agad at it will not create any confusion sa baba. So yun ang ating target. Okay lang talaga kung magkamali. Teachers, okay lang po na magkamali tayo. Uh, pupils, learners, our students, okay lang na magkamali. Walang perfecto ngayon dahil hindi natin ito inaasahan na darating ang patent niya. So ang importante mga learners ay you are continuing learning every day. Na may natutuhan tayo. Kasi paghihinto kayo sa pag-aaral, ibang usapin na yan. You might not go back to school again because you are into doing something that is not preparing you for life. Our lessons are preparing us for life. If we stop educating, if we stop doing the what we are doing now, my dear learners, my fellow teachers, malaki ang mawawala po sa buhay ng ating uh, mga anak, ng ating pamilya, ng ating sambayanan at ng ating bansa at ng buong uh, sanlibutan. Believe me. So, kahit nanghihirap tayo sa pag-aaral ngayon, okay lang yan kisa walang pag-aaral na nangyayari. Kaya, let us uh, stay fit. Let us practice the recommended uh, minimum health standards. And we should always be a prayerful person. And we should treat each other with love with respect and with uh, a a a good amount of uh, tolerance and understanding thank you once again and god is always praised all right maraming salamat po our regional director dr evelyn r fetalvero we are sure and we believe that our teachers, our participants for this afternoon's activity are already fueled with the motivation after hearing the message of our good regional director. All right, once again, thank you so much, Paul, to our regional director, Madam Evelyn Arfetalvero Seso 4. And I'd like to reiterate once again, our participants are coming from the cluster two of Davao City Division. Uh, kasama na rin po ang uh, mga teacher broadcasters and our school heads na situated near the Palumo District. Ayan, so sa lahat po ng ating mga participants na nakikinig ngayon, welcome and good afternoon. And please do not hesitate to share our live stream to your fellow teachers kahit pa sa ang uh, kahit pa kabilang pa kayo sa ibang schools division offices you are very welcome to join us with our virtual orientation all right so to proceed with our activity to give us the orientation regarding brigada fm radio davao we will be Joining by the station manager of Brigada FM Radio Davao, Sir Jun Digamon. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. Yes, nakamute pa po kayo, sir.
Naka-mute pa po. Okay? Uh, yes, ma'am. May hapon sa tanahan. Good afternoon po. Please take it away, Sir June. May hapon, uh, ma'am Marjorie. Sa tanahan kay Director Fitalbero, sa tanang sa tanang na nakakaroon na mati o nagtanaw din sa ito ang uh, 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 sa itong programa ng hapon na na po lang po na opo hey, yes ma'am I'm sorry I can't nagtawag sa phone before anything else, before ko magsubot sa kong program, nagyoy, uh, always yung ko nga mag-say thank you to the Lord. Thank you kay nakamatap ako. Thank you kay uh, maayaw akong lawas. Thank you kay makahuna-una akong sakto. Thank you kay in 24 hours, protected ko by God, by Lord God na na mahimo ka na ako. Sirs, uh, kaupan ko din ako ang atang Kauban po din ako karong mga orasa ang among social media manager si uh, Brigada Maxa natin network uh, social media manager na mo of course ang manager na maghatag o uh, unsa ang broadcast ethics pag-abot na sa ere ako ako uh, sometimes makalapas yung sa public because of kanang sa kuang kuan sa kuang emosyon nga masuko ko kay naay mga tao nga na, na nakuha na naiyatakan o na violate ang ilangang uh, ato siya. Apil natin sa trabaho. Kanay lang ito. Kanay sing tawag. Anyway. Um, may hapon sa tanang mga teachers. Uh, gusto lang na mo i, uh, ipahibalo. Of course, ako ang experience kung paon sa kumuhandal ng program um, always yun na nga mahimong energetic ko, enthusiastic at the same time, with humor yun isa. Kaya kung lang ba yan yung natuwa, uh, udyo lang yun isa. Wala yung video. Of course, kung na namin sa mukhang kuha, live streaming, nagin may mga extra movement na sound yung makakuha o attention gikan sa mga mga viewers sa mukhang live streaming sa Brigade News Double Page. Pero sa radio, uh, since sa bumbo pa ko, inahanglan yun na ako ang akong energy. Inahanglan ako ang ako ang na uh, kanang ah uh, series kung unsay dapat na kong buhaton kung unsay dapat na kong isibya kung unsay dapat iyaw-iyaw kinahanglan na na agin ang series of course ginapun ang ginapun na kay unsa man tawo na akong ipresenta kung galing dito magtuon sa ka uh, particular topic nga akong i-discuss ere so definitely ang akong i-share lang yun para sa mga teacher broadcaster um pag mahal nimo ang usa ka butang pag gusto nimo himuan ang usa ka butang Mahimo gila ni mo. As long as passionate ka si mong ginahimo. As long as honest ka si mong ginahimo. Mga na akong ginabuhas akong program. Uh, mga na nga maminaw po siguro sila sa kuha. Plus, uh, akong gina-encourage. Akong mahimo. Uh, akong mga listener. Uh, thinking listener. O uh, dili lang kay kung unsa nga akong gina uh, Mutuo na sila. Kinahanglan ilang always say uh, unsa to? Only say why? Unsa to? With question mark din siya. Pero kinahang lang din sa paghandle of programs o sa ka radio station o sa ka program sa uh, radio, imog yung kuhaon ang uh, attention sa mong mga listener. Considering ako dito, madunggan lang kanila eh, pero kinahang lang mo feeling nila nga imong heart na dito sa mong ginag-istorya, imong heart na dito sa mong mga listeners, imong heart na dito sa uh, topic ko nga gusto ni mong uh, uh, ipahibalo o i-inform dito sa ila. Of course, ang maghahatag o kung sa'y uh, broadcast ethics, ang mga kauban ng mga assistant manager si uh, Brigada uh, Hill Bautista. Para nga mo yung mga hatag o explanation. Nung saan yung mga butang na uh, dos in dos ba pagabot sa broadcast uh, si Brigada Hill. Kung naari mga pangutahan ng mga teachers sa uh, dili sila mabalaka sa pagpangutahan sa kung sa uni siya, kung, uh, kung si Buhat, kung ani. Uh, don't worry ma'am, sirs. Um, willing kay Mimo Tubag kung sa mga pangutana na labi na kung unsa pagpanindot o unsa pagkuha uh, sa mga atensyon sa mga kabataan. Ay, mga bata na ba din sila? Dagan kini sila mga extracurricular ito sa ilahang kilid-kilid. Oh, oh. So kinahalang yun na naalipin mga strategy 
itong paon sa limukha ko ng atensyon sa mga bata nga naminaw sila nga um, dili makuha ang atensyon no, sa laking mga butang ang ilang atensyon kinahan dito lang sa mga sa makafocus din sila sa pagpapati sa radio of course sila offer na mga mga bigada ni Double Page na pwede kayong uh, magamit aning uh, learning tungkol kay nasayod mi at the end of the day ang mahimong bulahan na ni ang mahimong uh, uh, dako kayo nga makuhaan ang ato gyapong mga kabataan ngayon pa si Dr. Serizan para sa namaya amo ka upan si Brigadier Bautista para sa mga broadcast ethics ma'am sir hello may hapon sa tanan good afternoon um, by the way ako si Hil Bautista si station manager sa Brigada ni Mr. Bob um, important na ako ang uh, basic lang din siya no? basic na principles no? sa uh, broadcast ethics um, kita tanan sa, sa, sa religious aspect na tayo kitawag na Bible di ba? Uh, either Christian sa Christian Bible sa Muslim tawag nila Quran no pero kami po ng mga broadcasters napod may Bible ang Bible nato ano 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 lang code of ethics no? uh, code of ethics sa journalism uh, broad either print or broad, uh, broadcast journalism no kami kailangan may sa broadcast sana yung kitawag na code of ethics for broadcast journalism Yeah, so, uh, code of ethics sa broad, uh, broadcast journalism na kitawag na five principles, basic principles. Kung sa mga mga basic principles, actually mo ni siya ina kwa na mo ina gabayan na mo ni everyday sa mo ang trabaho as broadcasters. First, ang first na principle nga uh, kinah. ang lanjut ka ayo kining gitawag na to nga the principle of kahanglan nga everything nga imong ni present na agud say truthfulness tinga pwede maghimo-himong storya tinga pwede nga uh, imong i-share dito sa imong mga listeners mga gihimo lang nimo without facts tinga with facts din sa so wala sya ang gitawag na the principle of truthfulness ikaduha accuracy ang accuracy, importante kayo na sa ethics of broadcast. E kinangalan, accurate ka sa tanan ni mong ipangsulti. Uh, accurate ka sa tanan ni mong gina-impart dito sa imong mga listeners. E syempre, ang mga listeners ni mo, pag once makadungog sa imong ha, makasense. Mas, kanang, I mean, lahit na ba yan karun ha? Uh, honestly, an- ang, ang listener karun lahit na, compare sa una eh. Ang mga listeners karun, mga thinking listeners na sila eh. Tabalo na sila kung kanang imong istorya tama ba na dili no So importante yung kay nang accuracy no uh, para di ka maulawan ug binala sa social media i bash ka dito balik man lang isulti ni Kuan may brigade hill uh, di na mao ana ba ato mo gawas para ma, para malikayan na siya na bashing mga uh, mga uh, mga mam boxers no importante yung kay na every time maglingkod ka sa booth sa radio accurate ka yung dapat sa imong sulti Katulo, ang kanang gitawag nila nga uh, objectivity. Kinanglan, objective ka sa tanang ni gayon. Dili ka dapat uh, subjective. No? Kayo, in, sa maragod nga, nimo mo galingong di-project ni mga para ka sa tanan ba? Dili ka para na sa pila, no? sa pila. So, importante ang objectivity. Ang isyo ngayon mong dalhon, dapat objective ka, dili ka bias. No? Uh, Ikatuha, as in, Kwan man siya, applicable man po na kayo na sa inyo ha, ilabi na sa mga teacher broadcaster, kita mo may mag, mag uh, kuan, magtuto sa mga sudyante. Importante yun ang objectivity para sa inyo ha. No? Ang ikaupat, yun importante kayo ni, eh. impartiality of fairness. Dapat mulingkod ka as broadcaster, uh, mutingog ka sa ere, dapat impartial ka. Pero yun, kami sa broadcast media, Uh, even sa print, no? Uh, Daghan na kingon nga dapat tunga lang yun, dapat may tunga uh, naka sa media. Eh. Mawagay tang itawag ng media ka, no? Naka sa media. Pilo lahi ang among prinsipyo, eh. Actually, kami na nagabarog sa tinood, bias sa midaan sa truth. Dito gini sa truth. Dili mo pwede dito sa mali. Kaya syempre, kung may ngong kag um, mosaid ka dito sa mali, tapos ang, ang imuhang ang imong ginastorya, may kumatuuran, di ba? Dapat dito kayo sa truth. 
good side. Good side ka. Not, hindi ka pwede nga sa bad side. Ha? Kung may tabo sa una nga sa mga kampanya dati. No? Uh, that not give me sa good side. So, kasi kung saan, kasi kung saan yung mooni mo, basta naka sa good side, wala doon kayo pagmahayala. Safe ka doon hala siya. Ano yung importance? So, last! Ang last! Um, ang kanang gitawag na ito nga public accountability. Public accountability, importante kayo na sa broadcaster. Eh kung usan ang ipagstorya ni Moana, accountable ka sa mga tao. Eh. Uh, na may gitawag, an, ang tawag na Moana sa ilaha is moral ascendancy. Pag nga account, na kay public accountability, dapat doon na kay moral ascendancy. Eh paon sa mga paminahon sa tao, tuhuan sa mga tao, ikaw mismo, delikat at tuhuan, wala kay credibility. So, importante din ang credibility para doon na kay um, moral ascendancy. Okay. So, hopefully, basic lang na siya sa broadcast. So, unta, mahimo ng gabay po sa inyo ang mga feature broadcasters. Willing po uh, uh, Willing po me mag 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 so, sa inyo ha. Mag um, teach sa inyo ha. Mag sa inyo ha. O, willing po me po mo to bago sa mga questions na gusto niyo ipapag sa amo para Amo lang, mm, amo lang po i long every time na naay mag-program ng mga teachers diri sa mo amo ko nang i-live sa mong Brigada News Davao page with uh, 1,077,000 followers. Of course, i-bonus na ako akong page 1 na ko 144,000 followers. Para lang yun nga ang purpose nato is maabot nato ang gusto nato maabot ng mga estudyante para nga sama tong giingon ni Ma'am na dili pwede nga wala iskwela karon kay basing ma-divert nila ang atensyon sa usa ka butang adin na sila mga eskwela sa sunod tuig. Is tama kay nga statement. Mo na nga kami gusto may mahimong part para uh, makatabang sa mga teachers sa Department of Education nga ang mga kabataan never nga ma-divert ang ilang atensyon from eskwela to laing activities. Na mo ni amo pwedeng ika-offer sa inyo nga among page, i-offer na mo among page katong hangyo nga apilo ng Sabado Bingo. Okay tayo, wala yung problema. Go ahead, tamo lang yata sa inyo ha. Kaya nasayod mi, kinahanglan nila ang mga adlaw. Ang Saturday, same time. O ang Sunday, same time. Okay lang na sa mua. Thank you po. Salamat po. Hello po. Ba'y pa man, oh? Hindi siya po yung cellphone hill, eh. Kinder. Ay, ay. Hello, daging salamat. Actually, <laughs> natin napansin yung medyo lal kaya nagsabay magudpod ang koan ang uh, training karon ron. Napot tayo uh, training sa atong kindergarten na uh, sila sa PICAS. Uh, Sir June, Sir June, kadali Sir June, makikinabi ta kadali please. Sir June, balik please, Sir Hill. Natin may pagkahiskutan please. Oo, si Marge, suka itong controller, nag-control pa dito sa PICA sa kindergarten. Hello, Sir June! Hi! Okay. Okay, sila na pinawala. Yung anag yun live, no? So, uh, kinahanglan, mag-radio daw gani ang atong kapitala, atong tingog. So, kinahanglan, continuous. Kaya kung mawala ka, man siya ang lal, ginatawag. So, wala yung dead air. Okay, so ako dalas ko pa dayon, bago na tutawagan ng atong uh, uh, next uh, speaker. Uh, sama na sa among uh, nasabutan uh, what we have uh, with the the two si Sir Jun Digamon ang uh, station manager nga ang uh, i-produce ng regional office is ang StreamYard link so all they have to do is uh, accept it connect it and then our uh, teacher broadcasters have to be ready at all times but the good things are number one, ang ato ang mga teacher broadcasters 
Uh, they prefer to stay at home. Dito sila sa school, sa division office. O bisag asa, basta kuan lang yun ang connectivity. No? Nindot yun. So, ibig sabihin, you don't need to go to the radio station anymore. Yan. Ang StreamYard lang ang maglink sa ato ah. Tuloy ang atong pagkikinabi with our learners on the air. And then the good thing again is two teachers are going to be isa lang through balitaktakan. Yan. So what do ka teachers? Ang isa will uh, will portray the role of a teacher and another teacher will portray the role of a learner. Balitaktakan na siya. Ayan. So man ang importante nga we are catering the learners in terms of their enhancement uh, o sepeta ka, reinforcement o sa pana, deepening dili pa sabot nga regular ang classes on the air through SLMs no? magagamit lang yan tag SLMs pero ang atuwa lang dito ang iyahang highlight, suguban pa, follow up kung kitahay ko rin nga week wala gaid kay kisabtan sa mga bata then uh, the teacher broadcasters have to simplify uh -oh. so pinaagi sa balitaktakan masabtan gayod kay ang uh, teacher o ang learner ang ilahang tandem nindot gayod ang uh, stilo kay para masabtan gayod sa atong mga learners okay so at this point in time ang controller na anak ay nakapasok naman ko sorry kayo kay nagsabay gud ang atong activities karong adlaw Natay isa ka uh, streamer ata ni siya then uh, we have two ano activities I don't know how to explain on that. Okay. Um at this point in time na si Marge uh, Dr. Rene Sultan ng akong counterpart sa uh, a division of Davao City will introduce our next resource speaker. Okay, pasok Doc Ren, please. Good afternoon everyone. Ang hapon, sir. Mayang hapon, magandang hapon. Um, my courtesy to our DepEd Region 11 official, headed, of course, by our regional director, Director Evelyn Fitalbero, ARD, Madam Maria Ines Asuncion, our ASDS, Sir Bebot Gilena, ASDS, uh, Madam Jinky Ferman, and Ma Marilyn Adiduyo. My colleagues from the division office, our partners, uh, PSDS in the field, specifically Palomo District and Cluster 2. Our teacher broadcasters and our industry partners from Brigada News Davao. Um, this afternoon, we will be oriented on the technicalities and mechanics of the radio-based instruction. Our speaker is a faculty member of Mabini National High School. At present, he is detailed the division office to head the radio based and TV based instruction of Davao City Division. Uh, Umeere na po ang aming programang panradio na may pangalang Matuto sa radio. As mentioned, he is one of those who qualified for the radio and TV instruction of Department of Education Central Office. Teacher broadcasters, colleagues, let us welcome one of our speakers. Mr. Arnold Barbasan. My Hello, sir. Naka-mute ka po, sir. Sorry. <laughs> Ayan, good afternoon, everyone. Isang uh, mapagpalang araw po sa lahat sa mga namumuno ng ating ahensya sa Department of Education, sa ating mga dakilang guru at mag-aaral. Uh, magandang araw po. Naniniwala po ako na ang simbolo ng edukasyon ay ilaw ilaw na magbibigay pag-asa para sa mga mag-aaral sa gitna ng pandemya. The concept of education, on the other hand, would not only limit to the teachers and students, but the involvement of parents and stakeholders. Thus, education is a community. 
Again, welcome participants, teacher broadcasters of Davao City Division. Magandang araw po sa lahat. Before I'd like to start my orientation, I'd like to um, present and um, uh, give a little background of my uh, career and at the same time, paano po ako napunta sa DepEd. So I'd like to share a screen with you. Ayan. So again, welcome to Department of Education, Region 11, Davao City Division, Radio-Based Instruction, Orientation. So uh, in regards to my education, um, my baccalaureate degree is Broadcasting. And uh, I earned units in education major in English. And um, I have my master's in education in language teaching and advanced class in TV, film, and radio production. Um, with my academic experiences, um, I used to be an instructor with the different colleges and universities in the Davao City, uh, particularly Holy Cross of Davao, Davao Doctors College, St. Paul Sisters College, and of course, presently connected with Deped Davao City as arts and design teacher. With my media industry um, experiences, I used to be a columnist with uh, Mindanao Journal, Sunstar Davao as an investigative reporter, producer and writer for GMA Network, news correspondent for TV5, and the radio personality and voiceover of UMBN Network, 95.5 Hit Radio, and 92.3 Wild FM. And... Um, former station manager of Liu Broadcasting Corporation, South Central Mindanao, Home Radio, DWIC, and News Bureau of CNN Philippines. So, isa pong napakagandang araw po para sa ating mga teacher broadcasters. Ano po ang uh, uh, masubaybayan natin ngayong hapon na to? Of course, pag-uusapan natin yung tinatawag na radio-based instruction. Uh, when we speak about radio broadcast programming, dalawa lang po yun. Ito po yung FM and AM. Okay? FM is Frequency Modulation Broadcasting. Fidelity. Okay? Gamit yung, yung hangin. Okay? And then the AM is the Amplitude Broadcasting. Gamit yung wave. If you can see on the screen right now, makikita natin above the waves and fidelity ay yung signal. Kaya halos lahat ng radio stations na transmitters ay nasa taas, nakalocate, if FM siya. Pag AM station naman, nakalocate siya sa tabing dagat kasi nga may wave. So that's a very technical um, concept about FM and AM programming or broadcast programming. Now, let's move on to the radio formats of uh, FM and AM. May mga iba't ibang programa po or formats ang nasa radyo. Ito yung News and Public Affairs. Ito po yung ginagawa ng Brigada News FM, Radio, News and Public Affairs with Music. Meron din tin tinatawag tayong drama. Merong radio imaging or commercials. And ito yung pinuproduce natin ngayon sa DepEd na educational programs through radio. Okay? Now, when we speak about radio programming, may sinusunod tayong program clock. Ang program clock po ay napaka-importante sa lahat ng mga nakikinig dyan because hindi ibig sabihin na nagsisimula na tayo sa programa sa radyo. Yun na. We need to follow the program clock per quarter para alam natin saan tayo papasok. Remember, Radio broadcasting still a business. Negosyo po ang radyo. Uh, aside from it's a public affairs, negosyo pa rin po. Ang bumubuhay po sa isang station ay mga commercials. That's why we need to follow the program clock para may window ang ating mga commercials saan siya ilalapat. And then the main content is your program. Kung makikita natin ngayon sa screen, napakahira pala nito, kung makikita natin ngayon sa screen, Merong apat na quarter yan. So dapat alam natin sa prime time ba siya lalabas or nasa sa evening na programming or nasa mid-afternoon and uh, among others. 
Napaka-importante mo ng program clock dahil may logging or traffic na sinusunod sa radyo. Okay? We need to follow these um, sequences for us to know ano ang 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 sunod-sunod, no? Ano yung yung sequences ng programa mo at paano ilagay yung commercials. Now, there are two two types of or kinds of educational radio programs. Meron tayong tinatawag na canned, okay? And meron tayong tinatawag na live bantering, okay? Ang canned is recorded and live bantering is yung yung tinatawag nating balitaktakan o yun yung pinakauso ngayon na teleradyo. Canned it's more on uh, orchestrated type of programming kasi na-edit na siya eh. But when you say about um, live bantering, hindi siya edited. So dapat alam mo ang content na pinagsasabi mo sa harap ng mikropono para ma- ikaw mismo maku-QA mo kung tama ba ang pinagsasabi mo. Remember, what you're doing um, with Brigada is a live bantering. Hindi siya canned. Okay? So ang mangyayari niyan, you need to be good when it comes to your craft from A to Z. Napaka-importante po na alam mo yung module mo. Remember, ang self-learning module ni teacher ay isang Biblia. Guide nyo po yun. Hindi po ibig sabihin lahat ng content sa module, yun yung babasahin mo. You need to be creative pag nasa radyo tayo. Bakit? Dahil nga, ikaw ay teacher broadcaster. Hindi ka reader, broadcaster ka. When you broadcast something, you extend, you explain, and you stretch the concept of your content. Same with canned. Sa canned lang, edited siya. Okay? Um, I, I believe pwede siguro tayong uh, uh, tawag dito. Uh, makita natin yung tinatawag natin, ano ba yun? Yung, yung mga comments no? ng FB natin. Uh, check natin sa mga comments. Ha? Ayun. Check natin sa comments. Medyo wala pa. Okay, so... Um, pag may meron po kayong uh, meron po kayong uh, gustong sabihin, okay? Uh, pwede po ninyong i uh, i-comment doon sa Facebook. Napakahirap naman ito <laughs> ginagawa natin. But anyway, this is the new normal education. Um, i-share ko sa inyo yung example ng canned, okay? And example ng live bantering, okay? Sige, tr- let's try with the canned. Um, comment lang kayo kung hindi nyo marinig ha? kasi hindi ko din ma-monitor kung naririnig nyo ang audio ko so yeah, let's try this one this is the canned magandang araw mga giliw naming mag-aaral and welcome sa panibagong episode natin dito sa Matuto sa Radyo ako si Teacher Arnold, narito ako para gabayan ka sa ating aralin. Sa araw na ito, nakasentro ang ating aralin para sa mga mag-aaral ng grade 5. Tatalakayin at pag-uusapan natin ang kaugnayan ng lokasyon sa pagbubog ng kasaysayan. Ikaw ay inaasahang makapagpapaliwanag sa kaugnayan ng lokasyon sa pagbubog ng kasaysayan pagkatapos ng episode na ito. Ang Pilipinas ay matatagpuan sa Timog Silangang Asya. Tinatawag itong archipelago dahil ito'y binubuo ng mga um sandali lahat tignan ko muna yung comments kung naririnig nyo yung naka-play dito. A- anybody from the participants who can um, um who can say that uh the, the audio is working? Anybody? Sana may makapagsabi, no? Um, anybody from the region who can um, testify that my audio is doing good? Yes, yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Ah, okay, We can okay. hear the audio po. Okay, thank you so much. So kung naririnig nyo kanina, sorry, yung naririnig nyo kanina, it's a canned, okay, educational radio program. 
recorded siya. It's about uh, paghubog ng kamalayan ng uh, Pilipino. It's aralin panlipunan. Kung, ala, uh, kung na-observe ninyo na very uh, organized and sequenced yung kanyang style of telling the story because naka-edit nga siya. May greetings, may information, may details, and then segue. No? And then, uh, may elements ng effects and then the music background. Okay? Let's try to hear again. Ito. Imog Dagat, China o tinatawag ding Kanlurang Dagat ng Pilipinas sa Kanluran. So if you can hear, there is a background of of uh, sea waves. Napakahalaga ang lokasyon ng Pilipinas bilang isang bansa. Ang strategic location nito ay may malaking kinalaman sa paghubog ng kasaysay. Ang lokasyon ng Pilipinas ay naging bentahe sa mabilis na pagunlad. So if you can hear, there are different elements of effects to make your um tawag dito, to make your material more enticing to the ears. Remember, radio is a kind of uh, media that you need to create a theater in your mind. Okay? Gumagawa po kayo ng sarili niyong teatro sa utak ninyo upang magkaroon siya ng visuals. Ang radyo po ang pinaka-list na kind of modality ngayon, pero siya din yung pinaka-mahirap i-produce especially if it's a canned or recorded, because there are a lot of elements, a lot of things to consider for you to have a, an effective material for your learners. So yun po yung example ng canned educational radio program or material. Recorded, edited, nilalapatan ng effects, nilalapatan ng bed. Okay? Hindi bed na kama or music bed or background. Sa radyo, tinatawag natin yung Music bed effects, my standard intro, my um, fade in, fade up, and then fade out sa mga effects na sinasabi natin. Ang live bantering naman po, mga kaibigan, sa mga nakikinig dyan sa kanilang uh, Facebook, no? ang live bantering po ay napaka-usual na po ngayon dahil ito'y po yung kadalasan na ginagawa ng programming sa TV at saka sa radyo. Dahil nga na-invento yung teleradyo. It's a, uh, in linguistics, we call this one portmanto. It's a television and radio. That's why we call this one teleradyo. Okay? Live mantiring po, wala po tayong effects doon. May music background, pero hindi po ganun ka-intensifying yung mga music background na ginagamit natin. Ang importante po sa live mantiring po is the content. How you deliver the content towards your listeners. That's why napaka-importante po sa isang teacher broadcaster soon na magbo-broadcast uh, with brigada na magaling talaga sa craft niya. Okay? Especially po ngayon, ang dami pong mga bashers towards DepEd, lalong-lalo na sa ating mga materials dahil nga sa mga pangungutya sa ating modules, dahil sa pangungutya sa ating mga teachers. Remember, ginagawa po lahat ng... Uh, na mga bagay, modalities at paghihirap ng ating ahensya para po ma-deliver po sa ating mga learners. Hindi po perpekto ang ating ahensya. Ginagawa po natin ang pinaka the best na paraan upang ma-reach natin ang mga learners. Hindi po si teacher broadcaster ang sikat dito. Ang sikat dito ang mga learners. That's why we need to center the 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 concept of education towards to our learners and the community. Napaka-importante rin po na uh, dapat uh, mabigyan po ng, ng value okay? sa, sa publiko ang paghihira po ng ating mga teachers. But still, we cannot please everyone because of social media. Uh, Napaka-lawak ng social media at hindi po natin uh, mapipigilan yung pambabash nila dahil nga wala pong filtering sa social media. That's why we need to be good with our craft, especially soon you'll be delivering your lessons uh, live bantering with Brigada. I think Davao would be the second um, division all over the Philippines who will be doing a live bantering or balitaktakan lessons. I think first is Masbate. 
um, among the radio stations in Masbate, um, nag-alat sila ng 2 hours or 3 hours yata every day sa lahat ng mga stations at pupunta ang mga teachers doon at magkaklase sila. Live talaga magkaklase. But in a live bantering, dapat magaling talaga magdala ng programa ang isang teacher. Hindi malam niya, uh, dapat uh, snappy, ganun. So, hindi naman natin uh, makukonsider lahat ng teachers dahil nga iba-iba uh, ang ating mga teachers. So, uh, iilan lang ang pwede talagang magkaroon ng chance to do the live bantering or uh, live broadcast. Pakinggan po natin ang isang live bantering program sa radyo at uh, i-compare natin sa canned or recorded and yung live bantering. Listen to the material. Isang magandang araw sa ating lahat, ayaw ngayon, ay nakikinig sa Death and On Air. Kaya naman, ihanda natin yung mga sarili para matuto ng isang bagong kaalaman. Ako si Dino Omar, ang inyong magiging guro para sa araling panlipunan. Sa araw na ito, tayo ay makakasama ng isang commentator. Siya ay nagamalang si Ariel de los Santos. Sir Ariel. Magandang hapon, Dino Omar, at magandang hapon sa ating mga tagapangig at tagapanood dito sa DepEd on Air. Ayan, makakasama tayo ni Dino Ariel para palakayin ang paksa upol sa pagkusbong ng kamalayang nasyonalismo. Sir Ariel, alam mo ba ang ibig sabihin ang salitang nasyonalismo? Sa aking pagkakaalam at pagkaalala, ang nasyonalismo ay masinhing damdamin ang pagmamahal sa bayan, Dino Omar. Ah, tama yan. At sa ating mga tagapangig, matutuha ninyo kung paano ba dumating sa ating bansa ang kamalayang nasyonalismo. At dahil dyan, ihanda ang inyong mga lapis at papel. Kung sakali meron kayong mga impormasyon na mapapakinggan, isulat lamang ito ng mabuti. At tingnan natin sa pagtatapos ng aralin na ito, matutuha ninyo kung ano ba ang damdaming nasyonalismo. Kaya, simulan na natin. Para sa ating unang nalimin, tandaan, ang ating araling ay tumatalakay sa pag-usbong ng kamalayang nasyonalismo. Okay, so, um, yung napakinggan po ninyo ay isang sample ng live bantering or balitaktakan uh, program. Um, of course, that's that's uh, that's example. Uh, nanggaling yan kay Sir Mark C. sa ginagawa naming teleradyo sa central office, but um, not yet final pa siya. Um, soon, hopefully, magkaroon na ng approval at magkaroon ng DepEd Teleradio na all over the Philippines. And then, uh, yun nga, nakita natin yung difference sa CAD. Ang CAD, may mga elements ng effects embed. Ang live bantering, talagang live talaga siya, nabalitaktakan. Magaling magsalita, napaka-brief and concise niyang magsalita, and nakatuon pa rin yung content sa sinasabi niya. No, you may start with a greeting. Uh, isang mapagpalang araw po sa ating mga tagapakinig diyan. Uh, kasama pa rin ninyo si Ganito Ganyan. So, lahat ng ating mga learners ngayon, ang ating aralin po ay nakasentro po sa uh, asignaturang Filipino, sa panitikang Filipino po o pagsusulat sa panitikang Filipino. But it's, it's just like that. Dapat kasi sa live, don't mind the sub vocals. Yun kasi yung concern ng mga teachers natin, especially mga broadcasters, na nagkakaroon ka na ng mali. Pag nag-start ka na ng sasalita, nagkakaroon na ng sub-vocals yung mga um, mm, uh, don't mind that one because it's live. It's okay. But never in a canned educational material because yun nga, napaka-edited nun compare with a live bantery. So again, what you will be doing with Brigada, it's a live bantering. It's balitaktakan. I think you'll be calling your program Dunung Aguila. And I don't know the program profile. Um, it's up to the region kung ano yung gusto nilang mangyari po dyan. Okay, so I hope you uh, you were able to get the concepts of uh, canned and uh, live bantering. And then the uh, program clock Sandali lang ha. Yun, program clock. And then the radio formats, yung news and public affairs, the music, the drama, the radio imaging, and the educational program. Okay. Sa radio Im imaging po, sa lahat ng mga nakikinig dyan, ito po yung ginagawa natin sa radyo na napapakinggan natin araw-araw. 
meron po niyang testimonial yung uh, gumaan na ang ginhawa ni uh, Aling Nena nang matapos niyang uh, uminom ng MX3. That's testimony. Tapos magsasabi si Aling Nena na maraming salamat po sa MX3, lalong-lalo na sa ganito ganyan. So that's testimonial for radio imaging. Meron ding radio imaging for feature, no? Gamit ang boses mo. And the radio drama, alam naman natin na napakasikat po ng radio drama. Kinagawa po natin ito sa mga iba't ibang radio stations po sa Cebu and Maynila, even here in Davao. Ayan. So balik tayo sa cardinal functions of radio. Uh, in broadcasting, tinatawag namin itong the four roles of uh, broadcasting or the four roles of media. That's to inform, to persuade, to entertain, and to educate. No? To inform dahil responsibility ni radio or responsibility ni media na ma malaman ng tao kung ano yung nangyayari. That's why media is being called as the fourth state. Okay? Next is to persuade using sales, using advertising, commercial. To entertain, kailangan po natin na maging masaya. And then to educate. That's why pumasok na si DepEd dito. Gamit ang radyo, kailangan na po natin magturo sa ating mga mag-aaral and learners. Napaka-importante po na alam po natin yung cardinal functions ng radio because ito yung pinaghahawakan natin. Babalik po tayo dito pag nag-start na tayo mag-broadcast soon. Napaka-importante po nito dahil uh, ito po yung nagsisilbing gabay natin kung saan tayo papunta. Ano yung number one na mga, ro uh, uh, I mean, the roles of uh, radio or media uh, for that matter. Next is the method of teaching in radio. Okay? Um, in, in radio, okay, or in TV, broadcasters have the same method of teaching, and that is to tell stories, okay? Uh, we tell stories about values, we tell stories about knowledge, we tell stories about rags to riches, we tell stories about micro-stories. Napaka-importante po ng uh, konsepto na ito na ang mga broadcasters and media practitioners and teachers, we do have the same method of teaching and that is to tell stories. Sabi nga ng mga estudyante, ayaw nilang makinig sa teachers nila pag hindi marunong magbigay or mag-share ng stories. Kasi nga, uh, the way you tell a story towards your to your students, napaka-importante po yun. Uh, that's, that's the method how you're going to entice and catch the attention of your Learners and listeners, kasi soon nasa radyo na tayo. Next concept, um, the challenge, okay, the challenge is how to hook students with your story or lesson, no? Your enemy in radio is your audience, okay? Who are your audience? Who are your students? Their generation matters. The demographics will tell if your lesson on air is effective or not, gano ka pa kagaling uh, sa asignatura mo pag hindi ka marunong mag-share or magsabi or how, how do you call that one? Mag-tell ng story in front of your students and listeners, I'm sure papatayin nila yung radyo at hindi sila makikinig sa'yo. That's why there are some elements that we need to consider in order for you to have a very effective story. That's the challenge in radio. Hindi po ang kabilang stasyon ang kalaban ng radyo. Ang kalaban po ng radyo ay yung mga listeners. How you're going to get their attention, no? Para ma-maintain and ma-sustain yung listenership na yon. That's the challenge on how to hook your listeners or students with your story or your lesson. Next slide. Um, Lessons are stories, okay? Rules in radio. Lessons are stories. Your modules or lesson plans are stories, no? Ikwento po ninyo. Uh, don't preach. Do not make it as a sermon. Like chalk and talk way of teaching. That's the classical way of teaching the students, right? 
Nasa bagong henerasyon na po tayo, Generation Z, and mga millennials na po ang mga estudyante natin. Dapat ang teacher marunong magkwento. Okay? Huwag po mang sermon. At saka huwag po yung chalk and talk way of teaching. Binabasa lang po yung libro. Dapat napakagaling talaga niya magdala ng leksyon. Keep it short and simple. Okay? Cardinal rule yan sa radyo. Bawal ang boring. The attention span of the listeners will affect sa voice ninyo. Gaano kalalim ito? Gaano kataas ito? How you make it dynamic? The manner of talking, the articulation, and the way of telling the story. Articulation, pronunciation is very... These are, are elements na napaka-importante po. Kailangan po na maging... Hindi naman hindi naman baguhin mo yung, yung accent mo. But you need to make it neutral. Remember, teacher po kayo. You are teaching uh, a certain subject. Example, English. Dapat tama naman po yung pagka-articulate natin at pagka-pronounce para makopya ng bata. Remember in education, our educators, alam, nyo, alam po ninyo yung yung concept ng assimilation and accommodation. Ang bata po, meron na po yung prior knowledge. Pag sinabihan mo siya ng isang konsepto or knowledge, alam niya paano yan i-accommodate at i-accept sa mind. Kaya nga may assimilation and accommodation sa teaching ng ba- sa teaching towards sa bata. Kailangan talaga lahat ng sinasabi ni teacher tama at na QA. That's why articulation is very important and the way of telling the lesson. Um, one example that I can share when you are teaching over the radio is uh, reading. Napaka-importante po ng reading, concept of reading. Why? Napakataas na po ng porsyento sa Pilipinas ang mga non-readers. Nasa dokumentaryo po yan ni Cara David. At uh, alam po natin lahat yan. Ang daming sinisisi, ang mga elementary teachers, ang mga high school teachers, senior high school teachers. Ang daming sinisisi, sinisisi ang ahensya. Pero huwag po natin kalimutan na ang konsepto po ng edukasyon ay isang community. Involved po ang parents dito. Pag uwi ng bata sa bahay, dapat kinukumusta talaga ng parents kung saan na yung anak niya. And going back to the concept of teaching reading over the radio, in TV, when we teach alphabet, we tend to say it A, B, C, D, right? With the sound, especially in kinder and grade one. But in radio, you cannot say letter A, okay? You need to, to um, apply the marunko, marunko style of teaching reading. Yung mga majoring linguistics, majoring in um, language teaching, alam nyo itong marunko style of teaching. When you say A, ah, you say it A, ah, B, B. K, K, para malaman ng bata ano yung sound na yun at makreate niya yun yung concept sa mind niya. Remember, nasa radyo tayo, wala po tayo sa television. Sa radyo, napakahira pong magturo ng kulay. How you're going to teach colors for these toddlers, I mean, for these uh, kinder students. Napakahira po, the concept of pula. Paano po ituro yung pula sa mga estudyante? Now, it's time for you, for the teacher broadcasters, Uh, paano maging creative siya? You relate the color yung sa bagay na nakita niya na noon. Example, ang pula ay kasing kulay ng rosas na nakikita mo sa harti ng nanay mo. Ang asul naman, mga bata, ay kasing kulay ng dagat nung, nung uh, naligo kayo ng tatay mo. Parang ganun. Ang, ang asul ay kasing kulay ng ulap tuwing hapo na nakikita mo sa taas ng bahay nyo. Parang ganon. So, by, by doing the, the, that, that um, technique, nire-relate mo yung konsepto ng kulay sa mga bagay na meron ng prior knowledge yung bata, nakoconnect ngayon yung tinatawag nating knowledge or yung konsepto nga ng lesson. So, napaka-importante po nun. Uh, wala pong face-to-face ngayon. But pinaghirapan po ng DepEd na ma-strengthen yung radio-based instruction natin, lalong-lalo na sa Davao region na ang daming mga learners na nakasituate sa malalayong lugar at maaabot lamang po ng radyo. Uh, noon, ginagamit na ng ALS, ang RBI, 
ngayon binabalik natin at in-strengthen talaga natin itong konsepto na to dahil napaka-importante po ng radyo ngayon. Again, lessons or stories, keep it short and simple. Um, number three that I'd like to share with you, show, don't tell. Okay, what does it mean, show, don't tell? In radio, you need to, to describe, okay? Relate, create a theater in, the, uh, in their minds. Um, let your listeners experience the real thing. Practical application. How will you teach math, history, and values through context, uh, contextualization and localization using radio? Paano po magturo sa history? Sa radio. Paano magturo ng math sa radio? Paano magturo ng values sa radio? So yun yung mga challenges na nakakam across natin when we are teaching in radio. But sa pamamagitan ng creativity ni teacher, uh, nalalampasan po natin itong uh, mga challenges na to. In radio, ang pag-describe ay napaka-importante po. Even if you are a radio reporter and you are giving a sit nurse, okay, we call that in media sit nurse or situationers sa isang sunog, okay, nasa radyo ka, nasa linya ka, and then merong host sa uh, station, example, uh, ganito. Uh, okay, uh, makakasama natin mga kaibigan si Arnold na, na sa isang sunog ngayon. So Arnold, uh, ano po yung current situation dyan? So it's, it's your, it's your um, creativity now on how to describe the situation. Uh, ilan yung tao, ano na talaga yung nangyayari, so that the listeners will feel the real thing habang nakikinig siya, nadidescribe na niya sa mind niya kung ano yung nangyayari. Next is, hook your audience. Ano yung hook your audience? Okay? Yung pambungad. Voice matters to sustain the listeners and the manner of talking. Napaka-importante po ng boses sa radyo. Okay? Because the voice will be your audio identity. The people will listen you again and again because of that voice. Noon, nung nag-DJ pa kami, ang boses ay napaka-importante. Palakihan ng boses, pagandahan ng boses. Pero ngayon sa Generation Z and Millennials, wala na pong ganong sukatan. Wala na ganong measurement. Dahil nga ngayon, ang importante is how you make your pambungad and voice matters hindi na po pababaan, pataasan, at how you modulate it. Next is the viral. Ano po itong tinatawag nating viral? Okay? Ang viral is the method of teaching. What can sustain the listenership? Ano yung pinakasikat ngayon? You relate to that. Because ang nakikinig sa'yo, bata, Generation Z and Millennials, yan, the the listenership span nila no the attention span nila hindi ganun kahaba kasi nga ang bata ngayon multitasking habang nagbabasa kaya nilang makinig okay so the new method of teaching what can sustain the listenership is yung nakikita nating viral kailangan ma-relate po ninyo yan mga teachers natin na magiging teacher broadcaster soon next is content is the key but presentation makes perfect. In radio, we tell stories through description, music bed, effects, voice dynamics, and facing. Okay? Ang content pa rin po ay napaka-importante, pero mas importante din how you present it. Kaya nga, ginagamita natin ng facing, voice dynamics, effects, and music bed. Ang facing, paano mo basahin? Paano mo ikwento? Paano ka, saan ka magpo-pause, okay? When you are telling the content, napaka-importante po nun. Kasi nga, nasanay si teacher na uh, nagka-klase inside the classroom na uh, very monotonous sound, di ba? Kasi sanay talaga tayo ganun inside the, the four corners of our classroom. But ngayon, gagamitan na natin siya, injectan na natin siya ng mga elemento, bagong elemento para magkaroon ng buhay. Because this is the new normal education gamit ang radyo at TV. Our mother station is DepEd TV Channel 13 and other cable networks like Solar Learning, Signal, GMA Afford the Box, among others. And then, 
para mas strengthen yung ating mother tongue and other modalities in region and division uh, nag-implement po tayo ng RBI and soon we'll be having a TVBI localized din sa Davao City pero ngayon i-utilize natin yung konsepto ng radyo no sa so pagtuturo para sa ating mga kabataan dahil nga uh, ito niyo yung tinatawag nating the new uh, normal education so I'd like to stop my sharing. Ayun. So, balik tayo. Okay. So, ang radyo ay napaka-importante dahil nga uh, ginagamitan ito ng uh, sensitivity ng, ng, ng mind ng tao, especially yung creativity niya, paano ma-describe yung isang, isang bagay sa utak niya. Napaka-importante ng radyo because ito yung pinaka-list ito yung pinakamura at libreng modality, okay? Or medium para sa mga learners natin. Especially ang Brigada News FM na papakinggan all over the world, no? Meron pang uh, anong tawag doon? Meron silang page, FB page na almost uh, I mean, more than a million. And then si Mr. Jun Digamon din ay meron siyang mga followers. So it's your chance na magturo sa radyo para sa ating uh, mga learners. Isipin po natin na ang lahat ng ginagawa ng DepEd ay para po sa mga learners po natin. Hindi po ibig sabihin na ikaw na ang teacher broadcaster, ikaw na ang sikat. No, that's the rule of thumb here. Ang programang ito ay para sa mga learners po. Content is the key. Not the teacher broadcaster, but the content is the key. Okay? And then, hook your audience. Okay? Sino yung mga audience natin? Dapat alamin natin paano natin sila ma-entice. Okay? Ma-hook. Because anong saysay ng content mo kung wala nakikinig sa programa mo? Napaka-importante po nun. Show, describe, don't tell. Okay? When you are telling, you are just reading. Okay? The self-learning module. But you need to extend, you need to stretch, and you need to describe more about your content. Napakahirap po ng nasa radyo pag dumiretso ka kaagad. You need to, of course, read in advance yung self-learning module mo. Alamin mo, mag-QA ka sa sarili mo. At huwag pong uh, dumiretso ka agad. Dapat pag-aralan mo muna. Napaka-importante po ng role ng teacher broadcaster pag sinimula na niya ang klase niya sa radyo. Remember, live bantering po ito. Hindi mo na mababago. Once sa sinabi mo, na-articulate mo na yan, of course, papakinggan ng bata yan. The child will assimilate and accommodate the knowledge. Let's go back to the concept of education. Ang bata may prior knowledge na yan. Napaka-importante po na ituro sa bata ang konsepto ng Reading. Paano po i-accept ng bata yung knowledge na yon? I-describe mo. Create a theater in their minds. Hindi ka nila nakikita, pero naririnig ka nila. Remember, genius people ay yung mga bulag. Kasi nga, ang galing nilang mag-describe kaysa mga taong nakakakita. That's why um, we are expecting no a very good percentage of learners and development pag ginamit na talaga natin itong radio-based instruction. Uh, sabi ko nga, when I was studying broadcasting before, prior to my academic stints, sabi ko, meron kasi kaming subject na educational broadcasting. Sabi ko, itong educational broadcasting na to, dapat para siyang, para na siyang part ng curriculum ng, ng DepEd dapat. Parang, dapat ito ay isa ng uh, area no na pagtuunan ng pansin kasi hindi nga natin alam ano pa ang mangyayari sa mundo no hindi natin alam ano pa ang mangyayari sa mga sumusunod pang panahon kagaya ng pandemyang ito at least we are ready now especially in Davao we are creating different materials for our learners kasi nga hindi pa natin alam kung matatapos na ba ang pandemya soon but We are still here, teachers, to help our learners. Nakikita ko po ang pagod 
at um, effort ng mga teachers natin para ma-deliver lang po ang mga materials para sa ating mga learners. Hindi po ibig sabihin na may mali ang module, may mali ang ang materials natin sa ahensya kaagad 'yan, no? Hindi po perpekto yung module natin. Hindi po perpekto yung ahensya natin. Pero ang pinaka-perfect po nating gawin is magtulungan. That's why Yusek Elaine Pasco sabi niya, meron ng page sa Facebook na uh, dun mo ilagay yung mga errors na nakita mo uh, sa DepEd TV ba yan or sa module para makorek ka agad. Yan kasi ang problema ng Pinoy. no? Madaling nakakakita ng mali pero nahihirapan na uh, I-correct yon So dapat, pag may nakitang mali, i-report ka agad para makorek ang, ang material natin. Remember, bago lang po tayo sa programang ito, uh, months pa lang, klinano pa itong DepEd TV, itong RBI, itong teleradyo na to, itong DepEd On Air, matuto sa radyo, bago lang po ito. Uh, hindi pa to umabot ng one year. So marami pang lapses na Uh, we might come across. So, dapat magtulungan po tayong lahat. And you teachers, teacher broadcasters of Cluster 2, class, uh, other clusters, uh, other divisions uh, sa Davao region, I am expecting you to perform well with your craft. Ito na po yung panahon na gamitin po natin para maturuan yung ating mga mag-aaral sa tamang paraan gamit ang radyo o TV. Gamit din ang ating Biblia na self-learning module. Remember, wala pong perpekto. Ang importante po ay ma-stretch natin, ma-lengthen natin ang pag-aaral ng ating mga mag-aaral. Hindi po si teacher ang sikat dito, teacher broadcasters. Ang napakasikat po dito ang ating mga learners. Sa ating mga learners naman na alam po natin na napaka-broad and um, napaka-tawag dito, Uh, very contemporary po yung ato ang mga learners, no? Um, wala tayong magawa. Learners natin sila. We need to adjust talaga sa situation natin ng mga teachers natin. Sabi ko nga kanina, you need to hook your audience. Si teacher ang mag adjust Paano niya makuha yung attention ng bata? Remember our clients or clientels are these students. Dapat alam natin yung technique para makuha natin yung attention nila. And of course, ang sinasabi kong lessons are stories. Your modules and lesson plans pa rin ay napaka-importante. Again, ikwento po ninyo. Huwag po kayong mag-sermon. Do not preach like chalk and talk way of teaching. Panibago na po ang ating panahon ngayon. Ito na yung tinatawag na new normal education. Gamit ang ating creativity, radio, TV, lahat ng mga modalities, blended mode o ano paman, kailangan po natin ma-reach ang ating mga learners. Dahil ang mga learners po natin, sila na po ang mamumuno sa ating bansa soon. Keep it short and simple. Huwag po natin pahabain. Describe. Be concise with your lessons when you are talking in front of the microphone. Again, sa lahat po ng mga nakikinig dyan sa ating mga teacher broadcasters, simulan na po ninyong i-review ang self-learning module ninyo. And I hope na you can start broadcasting gamit ang Brigada News FM and yung inyong kakayahan para magklase ng uh, asignatura sa radyo. I don't know what, what's your arrangement with Brigada, but uh, I am hoping na sana maging successful yung program, itong programang ito because the division of Davao we are producing RBI it's a can it's uh, a theatrical dramatic uh, educational materials yung sa brigada po it's a live nagkaklase po kayo dyan na live po talaga so napaka importante po yung kaalaman sa asignatura paano mo ihook yung audience mo and remember yung learners pa rin ang nangunguna hindi po si teacher broadcasters Um, I hope meron tayong mga mga comments ngayon. Um, wala pa ako nakitang comments dito. But uh, I hope meron po tayong mga questions para masagot natin kaagad sa ngayon. Um, 
medyo walang questions. But anyway, again, um, I would like to say congratulations po sa lahat ng bumubuo ng Department of Education from Central Office, Regional Office, and the Division Office. Um, ginagawa po natin lahat para sa ating mga learners. And I am very sure na matatapos na itong pandemya na to. But itong radio-based instruction and TV-based instruction, magpapatuloy po ito. Dahil ito na ang panibagong new normal education. Uh, sa ngayon, again, maraming salamat po sa ating mga listeners for this wonderful orientation. I hope nakatulong po ako sa inyo kahit konti. Itong mga leksyon na to, itong mga elementong ito, ay sana madala ninyo when you're starting to do your broadcast with Brigada. At isipin po ninyo yung mga learners po natin. Again, maraming maraming salamat po at mabuhay po tayong lahat sa Department of Education. Maraming salamat po. Sir Manny, naka-mute ka. O di ba? Thank you so much. Ha? Krabi, I salute you. Walang questions because everybody uh, understood because you simplified your ano, your uh, discussion. Okay, so Sir Arnold, ah, wag mo kaming uh, talikuran ah, kasi every now and then, italagang eh, ikaw ang aming sandalan na pader. Ha? Ayan. Because I, I, I know the uh, teacher broadcasters are willing to ano, to uh, be with us uh, proving that italagang eh, may ano tayo may mga directions na makakayanan and uh, successful ang uh, magiging resulta. Okay. So, uh, yun ang nag emphasize mo kanina, ang balitaktakan, di ba? Yes. Yeah. Tapos may pasample ka pa. Yes. Ayan. So, ang, balik, ang, ang balitaktakan kasi, Sir Manny, uh -oh. ay um, it's a live bantering. Parang mm -hmm. tayo lang nag-uusap ngayon. So, okay. Sir So, parang ganito lang. So, Sir Manny, ma magandang hapon sa inyo. Pag-uusapan nating asignatura sa hapon na to ay tungkol sa pagsulat sa asignaturang Pilipino. So, pag sinabi mo, Sir Manny, parang ganito lang. It's natural, no? The spontaneity. Ganon. It's different from a canned educational material. Kaya nga sabi ko, dapat magaling si teacher broadcaster dito. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yung tandem ni teacher at saka ni uh, learner, uh, dapat uh, yung mag-emosyon na doon talaga, no? Tapos mm -hmm. yung energy, of course, yes, yung content. Yes, Baka kasi content. ang sasabihin nila, Sir Arnold, na talaga uh, yung kabuuan, kabuuan ng ano, SLMs na i-deliver. Hindi yung uh, kinakailangan dito since uh, limited yung ano natin, yung uh, uh, time. Kasi we all have one hour in the afternoon for the radio and uh, The, yung Facebook Live. Kumbaga, uh -huh. kagandahan dito Sir Arnold kasi meron uh -huh. na silang almost 2 million na FB yes. viewers. Uh -huh. Plus yung sa atin uh -huh. pa. O di ba? Para bang Sir sinabi Manny, mo, TV na, radio pa. O di ba? Uh -huh. O may question Sir Manny, natin. Uh, may question si Sir Edgar Allen from uh -huh. Cluster 2. Sabi ni Sir Edgar, Sir Arnold from Cluster 2 po, paano po i-budget ni teacher broadcaster ang allocated time niya sa radyo? Ilang minutes po ba ang allotted time per learning area? Ganito po yan. Uh, depende po sa naka-allot na uh, time frame na binigay ng brigada. Hindi, sa isang week, exam, I mean, sa isang leksyon sa module, hindi po ibig sabihin na Napakahaba po nito. Yun po ang sasabihin ninyo. You need to shorten that one. Sabi ko nga, brief and concise. Para siyang bullet, pa, pa, dapat magaling talaga magsalita si teacher broadcaster dito. Kasi ang mangyayari nito, si teacher broadcaster talaga, um, gagamitin pa rin niya yung way of style niya teaching sa inside the classroom. Pero masasanay din yan uh, soon. Uh, hindi rin natin alam kasi kung ano yung arrangement ninyo sa brigada. So I hope mm -hmm. ma-clear na rin yan, Sir Man. Mm -hmm. uh, so mayayari now, uh, kasi mayroon tayong ano, mga PSDSS na partners natin and then my counterparts sa uh, division. Kung baga, the ano, teacher broadcasters ang kaganda nandiyan na. So all we have to do next, uh, magiging next step, kung baga, is just a matter of arranging. No? O sino yung makakatoka this week, then next week, 
Ayan. So, para bang uh, ang ang assignment on the air for there are be ano para sa instruction nila uh, kunyari sa isang buwan baka isang beses lang dalawang beses parang ganon ayan so somehow your input is really a big help for the broadcasters oh, these are the tips actually the techniques and and then uh, yun na nga kasi we have two platforms to be mastered creatively. Yun na nga, yung sa Facebook at saka yung sa radio. Okay. Yung sa afternoon kasi Sir Arnold, ano yan siya? Facebook na live pa through radio. And then yung sa morning, dalawang oras, everyday yan. Hanggang Sunday. Everyday. Yung two hours that, that uh, is intended only for Facebook live. And the next, kunyari, hindi na ano, the, the learners are not able to catch all those then, kasi naka-save yan siya. Pwede nilang, ano, from Facebook or YouTube. Uh-oh. So, they can review for themselves. Ayan. I think Uh-oh. we're done. So, congratulations. Ayan, parang isang question lang, eh. Sana Uh-oh. madami. Sige lang. Uh-oh. So, uh, I hope, Sir Manny, you can meet your teacher broadcasters separately and you can mm-hmm. discuss with them. Same with the PSDSS and uh, our school heads sa cluster 2 at sa iba pang mm-hmm. uh, clusters. Uh-oh. Ayan. So, wala silang maging problema in terms to siguro sa pamasahe, sa food, when they're in the radio stations, kasi yung platform nga natin, through StreamYard link, uh, so, we, we simply give the link to the brigada, then the connection, our connectivity, I mean, our uh, platform structure on the air, continuous. So, wala masyadong problema. Mm-hmm. Oh. Sige. Gaya yung kanina, no, napansin natin, yung parang radio, kasi taga-radio talaga yung sa brigada. Uh-huh. Regardless kung ano yung mga kasi visuals yun, eh. Uh-huh. Ayan. And then, sa iyo, you are, ano, you are integrating both the radio and pang TV pa. Ayan. So, pasampo nga, Sir Arnold, magsampo nga tayo na, ano, balitaktakan, kunti lang. Ano yan? Ano uh, yan? Uh, Ano mo magandang sa <laughs> sample, sample. Kasi ito nga, ah, ako manner. Nagbigay na ako ng sample ah. kanina eh. Yung ngayon, yung kasali ah. ako. <laughs> ah. Si, uh, okay lang? Ah. Ah, sige, sige, sige. Konti ano lang. <laughs> o oh, parang ganito lang. So magandang... Ikaw, teacher, ako ang learner. Ah. So Since magandang... Oh, magandang araw at magandang hapon sa ating mga mag-aaral. Mga giliw nating mag-aaral. And welcome sa panibagong programa natin dito sa Dunong Agila. Ako si Teacher Arnold at kasama natin si Manuel. Ako naman si Learner Manny. Si Learner yeah. Manny. Ako si Teacher Arnold. At, Ngayong mm-hmm. hapon na ito, mara, marami ho, tayong malalaman. Ako yes. bilang ano, Learner, marami akong itatanong sa iyo. So ano ba pag-uusapan yes. natin ngayon? Sa hapon na ito ay pag-uusapan natin yung uh, tinatawag nating pagpapahalaga sa ating kapwa o sa asignaturang edukasyon sa pagpapahalaga. Napaka-importante po sa ating mga nakikinig dyan na mga mag-aaral kung paano po ang tamang pag-asal, okay? yung asal para sa ating mga magulang, asal para sa mga kaibigan natin, at sa ating mga dakilang guro. So Manuel, na- na- naranasan mo na bang uh, makasalubong ang isang guro sa isang paaralan? Ano yung unang sinasabi mo? Tama ngayon, Sir Arnold, kasi sa ngayon, ako ay nalilito. Pag ako ay nagbabasa ng Facebook, oh my, talaga napasak- napakasakit ang damdami ko. Kasi ano ba talaga ang tama? Ano ang mali? Ayan. Nakita ko nga si isang ano, nagmano ng, ano, nagmano. Ano ba yun? Paki, paki, ano, paki uh, explain niya sa akin, bakit nagmano yung mga bata sa kanila mga magulang, Sir Arnold? Oo. Ang pagmamano po sa ating traditional na konsepto ay mm-hmm. isang simbolo ay isang simbolo ng paggalang sa nakakatanda. Ginagawa na po natin ito noon pa. Kaya nga hanggang ngayon dapat po nating sundin, lalong-lalo na sa ating mga kabataan, yung pagmamano. So parang ganun lang, Sir Manny. You give the concept yeah. and then at the last part, at the latter part of your program, there will be a short assessment. Don't make it long. Just uh-huh. make your assessment yes or no. Yun yung parang balitaktakan talaga. Napaka-importante po ng isang teacher broadcaster na magaling magsalita and then yung yung uh, mastery niya sa kanyang asignatura. Napaka-importante mm-hmm. po. 
Okay. Tapos isang isang ano ba tawag nito? Isang bagay pa rin na napakaimportante. Ah, uh, kumbaga the ano, the broadcasters hindi talaga lumihis doon sa SLMs. Yes. So basically, SLMs our guides, kumbaga. So hindi tayo gagawa ng wala doon. So everything has to be um tawag noon, uh, relative doon sa Alright. ating SLMs. Kasi yun talaga ang ano pinaka purpose. Sir Arnold, and dami nating yes. na pag-usapan. So, thank you so much. Pero thank before you so much. before we end uh, uh sir, gusto ko magpasalamat ulit sa ating uh, regional director na napaka-supportive kasama ating uh, ARD. And then uh, of course, ating si Alan the Chief kasi uh, siya talaga may concept nito. Uh, tapos aalis uh, na siya, ligas niya ito. Papunta na siya ng ano Division of Davao del Sur as ASDS. Kung kaya ako ay nagpaiwan, uh, kasama ko ngayon ang aking culture parts ay ang division ng Davao City. Ayan. So, I would like to uh, thank uh, our SDS Rinaldo uh, Giliana, then ESDS Chinky Ferman, ESDS Marilyn Diduyo, si ID Chief natin si uh, Dr. Alma Sifra, Dr. Rene Sultan, PSDS natin si uh, Dr. Marilyn Marcelo, Dr. Isidora Hermin Sarmino, and Dr. Johnny uh, Ferolino. Of course, ang ating uh, bigating uh, mga speaker si Sir June Digamon at saka si, uh, si Sir kasama niya, yung assistant uh, station manager, si Sir Hale Bautista, Sir Arnold ba uh, Barbasan, maraming salamat. And then of course, uh, sino pa ba ang ating... Uh, Okay, dito sa ano sa Bacolod National High School ng Baganga Davao Oriental. Okay, maraming salamat kay uh, Ma'am Charlene Pakatang, Principal 1 ng Bacoli National High School. Okay. Okay, during my Ito kasi ang first na school na binisita ko. So dito ko naabutan ng malapit ng 1 o'clock kasi hindi na lang ako umalis. Ayan, so kay uh, um ating uh, sino pa ba nakalimutan natin of course ang ating host kanina si uh, Ma Marjorie Hoverillo at saka si Miss Lujin ang ating controller sorry kanina ha kasi nawala sa ere dahil dalawang events ang uh, kinater nila ay may training din kasi ang kindergarten at this point in time okay so uh again yung streamyard link natin ng CLMD ang gagamitin natin Okay, so wala na bang uh, pahabol na mga questions? Hanap ang nandiyan pa si ano, Sir Arnold? Okay. Um, thank you so much kay, uh, sa aking partner din, si Dr. Mary Jean uh, Mejorada. Okay. Hello, Marge. Andiyan ka na, Marge? Andiyan na ba si Marge? Okay, so what's next? Ano, what is the next step? Kumbaga, ang uh, PSDSS sa uh, kasama ng uh, division na uh, counterparts ko ay magkakaroon naman ng meeting to finalize everything with the uh, brigada uh, station manager at saka assistant station manager. So thank you so much. And at this point on time, we shall have our uh, closing prayer na ibibigay ni Ma'am Viola. Hello, Ma'am Viola. Ma'am Viola Esparagosa. Anong school ka, Ma'am, please? Davao City Special School, sir. A Davao City Special School. For a closing prayer, Ma'am. Okay, in closing, let us bow our head in prayer. Our most gracious and merciful God, we, the Almighty Father, with grateful hearts, we praise and thank you for your favors especially for allowing the conduct of this virtual orientation on radio-based instruction to be successful. We ask you, Father, for continued blessings and guidance as we journey with this new normal delivery of quality education. May our learning from this activity be utilized in the field for the good of our learners and of our service. Bless our learners, teachers, and the parents who are one with us in this challenging endeavor and in fulfilling your noble will for all of us. May you continue to reign in our hearts always, Father, protecting our lives 
and delivering us from evil and sickness. We are giving you back all the glory, honor, praise, and thanksgiving in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, Sir Man, naka-mute po ang iyong mic. Ayan, okay na po. Your closing spells and then read you connect yung ending natin, please. Kasi hindi napakinggan ng iba kanina. Yes, thank you, Ma'am. Thank, thank, thank you, Sir Manny. And thank you, Ma'am Yola. And to our uh, guests earlier, Sir Arnold and uh, Sir June Digamon of Brigada FM Radio Davao. Thank you so much for gracing us with your presence and for sharing us your expertise regarding radio-based instruction. And uh, we will be seeing you again next time for more activities regarding RDI. But for now, uh, we will now end our live stream. But for those hindi nakahabol sa ating uh, discussion kanina, uh, you can uh, review or watch our video on our official Facebook page, CLMD, and our official YouTube channel. Okay, so pwede nyo pong panoorin ulit yung ating video kung sakaling yung ating mga teacher broadcasters hindi nila na panood simula hanggang dulo. You can always visit our official uh, social media accounts para panoorin at uh, i-reorient ang ating mga sarili regarding radio-based instruction. So I think that's all for this afternoon. And uh, this has been Marjorie of Curriculum and Learning Management Division. Thank you so much, Sir Manny. Thank you so much to uh, the school's division superintendent of uh, Davao City. Of course, uh, ASDS Jinky Furman, ang ating po mga focal persons for RBI. Ma Mary Jane Mejorada, maraming salamat din po. To RD Evelyn Arcotalvero, ARD Maria Ines Yesunshon, and Chief Janet Velosa, thank you so much for your support sa radio-based instruction na virtual orientation ngayong hapon. Okay, so I, I, I think that's all for this afternoon's event. We will now end this live stream. At as our ending spiel, magtatapos po tayo sa Dunong Aguila. Ito po ang ating official na station ID ng DepEd Davao Region for our radio-based instruction and TV-based instruction. So once again, thank you so much and good afternoon. Unitado, magkaugnay, paaralang tahanan Nagkakaisa, iisang layunin Ito kasi susulong The Davao Region Dunong Aguila in support of the Comprehensive Region-Led Learning Continuity Plan. I teach integrating technology, academic community, and the household, ensuring every learner is safe and protected anytime, anywhere. Anchored on Sulong Idokalidad, this is DepEd Regional Office 11, delivering quality education across Davao Region. Lumika ng pagbabago, kaya natin to Kabata ang dabawenyo, kaya natin to Dunong agla Liparin abutin mga pangarap mo Dunong agla Liparin abutin mga pangarap mo Oh,
Sudom, Abla, Dunom, Abla, Sudom, Abla, Sudom, Kabata, and Daba Wayo. Welcome to Davao Region Connect, in support of the Comprehensive Region-Led Learning Continuity Plan, I teach Integrating Technology. Academic Community and the Household Ensuring every learner is safe and protected anytime, anywhere Anchored on Sulong Idokalidad This is DepEd Regional Office 11 Delivering quality education across Davao Region <laughs> 